Hi everybody, I'm Lights Camera Jackson. We've seen a Disney animated classic, a Kathy Rigby musical, an NBC Live TV musical, and a Johnny Depp drama that all involve the story of Peter Pan. What else can possibly be done with a character we know too well? Pan dares to answer that by going the prequel route with the tale of young Peter's first adventures in Neverland. All of the elements were in place for something special. 13-year-old Levi Miller, who was chosen for more than 4,000, set to shine as Peter. The multi-talented Hugh Jackman taking on the villainous role of Blackbeard the Pirate. And Joe Wright, the brilliant director of the thriller Hannah and the 2012 Kira Knightley version of Anna Karenina, steering this Jolly Roger. But when Warner Brothers released the first trailer for Pan last November, and then they announced they were moving it out of the summer season and into fall, I knew that wasn't a good sign. It turns out I was right. Pan is a consistently underwhelming and weak effort that never comes close to reaching the second star to the right. Things don't get off to a great start, as Peter, who was abandoned by his mother, Amanda Seyfried has little more than a cameo, lives at an all-boys orphanage in London during the height of World War II. One night, he and many others are magically taken from their beds by pirates to become the Lost Boys on a ship set for Neverland. When they arrive and are greeted by Blackbeard, Jackman and the others are singing the classic Nirvana anthem, Smells Like Teen Spirit. As bizarre and confusing as this scene is to watch, it's one of Pan's only legitimate surprises. Wright makes some other interesting decisions, mostly involving the visuals, and the results are largely unimpressive. As for the performances, Miller is not as likable a Peter as he should be, and at times I simply couldn't make out what he was saying due to a strong British accent. Jackman's Blackbeard is a mix of Willy Wonka and another cinematic pirate, Captain Jack Sparrow, as he delivers some quick and quirky one-liners. He does have a few solid early scenes, but once he, Peter, and a young and goofy hook, Garrett Hedlund in a career low, meet up with Rooney Mara's Tiger Lily, the rest of the film plays out in a dull and straightforward fashion. Oh, there are action scenes, including multiple sword fights and ship races, but the uninspired results are anything but swashbuckling fun. Where were the crocodiles when we needed them? On the official LCJ report card, Pan gets a D+. I'm Lights Camera Jackson. For all the latest news and movie reviews, go to lights-camera-jackson.com, subscribe to my YouTube channel, and follow me on Twitter at LCJ Reviews.